right, he's got a bomb. He's all right, there's no bomb, one, two, two. It's in video games, movies, music, cartoons, the nightly news, on the web, and even in television commercials. Violence is literally everywhere in our media today, and it's becoming harder to avoid in our society. Today, with the explosion of technology and the 24-7 media access that comes along with it, the question more than ever is, what's the actual impact, especially on our kids? There will be more droids The short answer is, we know it's a real issue for our kids and teens, but we don't know the exact impact. Research on the amount and impact of violence in media is woefully out of date and incomplete. What we do know from the existing research is that media violence is pervasive. Past studies estimate that about 90% of movies, 68% of video games, 60% of TV shows, and 15% of all music videos include some depictions of violence. And kids are exposed to a whole lot of it. In fact, a recent study found that kids as young as eight are spending nearly seven and a half hours per day with media, and it's sure more time than they spend with their families or in school. While experts agree that no one single factor can cause a nonviolent person to act aggressively, heavy exposure to violent media can definitely be a risk factor for violent behavior. Children who are exposed to multiple risk factors, including aggression and conflict at home, are the most likely to behave aggressively. He's out of his mind. Um, I'm a clown? Yeah. yeah. I will smash his head. Yeah. You know, hurt him, so how can you as a parent manage media violence in your own kids' lives? First, make the right choices. Choose media that is appropriate for your kids' age and temperament. For little ones, it's best to avoid shows, movies, and games that include aggression and violence. Kids under seven can't actually distinguish between fact and fantasy, so they'll process a made-up situation the same way they would a real one. Second, limit their exposure. Keep track of what they're watching and playing. As kids get older and as they move between multiple screens, their exposure to media violence can add up very quickly. So your best bet is to set clear time limits and then actively track and manage all the ways that your kids are exposed to media violence. Finally, find those teachable moments. The reality is that you can't control everything that your kids are gonna see and hear. When they are exposed to violent content, then take the time to talk with them about it. Discuss other ways that characters could have solved the problem without violence or aggression. The car was going too fast for the sensors to pick it up. The good news is that as parents, we can all make a choice to consistently expose our kids to media that reflects our own personal values and say no to the stuff that doesn't. Doing the right research about TV shows, movies, or games before your kids watch, play, and interact with them will go a long way in helping kids avoid the bad stuff and actually find the good stuff that's out there. For more tips and age-appropriate media choices, check out the Common Sense Media mobile app or visit us at commonsense.org. I'm Jim Steyer.